The questioning of Detective Jimmy Patterson went fairly routinely until defense attorney Doug Mulder asked about a microphone Rowlett police had hidden at the graves of Devin and Damon Routier. Patterson said officers had hoped for some type of graveside confession. Mulder asked if the district attorney knew about the attempt. Patterson said no. The defense then asked if the detective knew that the hidden microphone was illegal. Patterson did not answer and later stopped testifying completely, saying he wanted an attorney to represent him before further questioning. I understand he's counseling with his uh, lawyer to uh, find out whether or not he's going to uh, uh, assert his uh, Fifth Amendment rights against uh, self-incrimination. I don't think that anything illegal was done by the Rowlett Police Department. I think it's a non-issue, really. I know why Mr. Mulder wants to make it an issue, because he has no other issue to work with here. Another unusual allegation involves a witness for the defense. Mercedes Adams, who was here last week but did not testify, told Texas News 5 she feels Dolly's attorneys were trying to shape her testimony. Adams says Dolly Routier told her the night of the attack, she awoke with her attacker sitting on her torso, his face nearly in hers. But Adams says a defense attorney told her that is not what Routier said to her. She says the attorney said... No, he was on, on Dolly's le legs. And I said, no, I mean, he was on top of Dolly. You no, know, he was on Dolly's legs. No, he was on top of Dolly, what I said. Do you, did you get the feeling when you were talking to the attorney that they wanted you to lie on the stand? Yes. 